like to read for you today from Psalm 143. Hear my prayer, O Lord. Give ear to my pleas for mercy. In your faithfulness answer me, in your righteousness. Enter not into judgment with your servant, for no one living is righteous before you. For the enemy has pursued my soul. He has crushed my life to the ground. He has made me sit in darkness like those long dead. Therefore my spirit faints within me. My heart within me is appalled. I remember the days of old. I meditate on all that you have done. I ponder the work of your hands. I stretch out my hands to you. My soul thirsts for you like a parched lamb. Answer me quickly, O Lord. My spirit fails. Hide not your face from me, lest I be like those who go down to the pit. Let me hear in the morning of your steadfast love, for in you I trust. Make me know the way I should go, for to you I lift up my soul. Deliver me from my enemies, O Lord. I have fled to you for refuge. Teach me to do your will, for you are my God. Let your good spirit lead me on level ground. For your name's sake, O Lord, preserve my life. In your righteousness, bring my soul out of trouble. And in your steadfast love, you will cut off my enemies. And you will destroy all the adversaries of my soul, for I am your servant. The word of the Lord. And yes, I know I have skipped 100 Psalms. I chose to read this today because this is a psalm that is often read on the Saturday evening before Easter Sunday. And it seemed appropriate here as we begin the final week of the Easter season to return to this as life eases a bit, as the weather warms, as the days grow noticeably longer, as we enter the season following Pentecost, it seemed a good return trip to make. In the New Testament context, Jesus lies in the tomb, the disciples are hidden away, everything is locked down, and no one outside of God has a clue it's about what about what is about to happen. Gloom might be the best way to describe the reality. The psalm pursues a set of common themes, petition or asking, and then lament, and then petition, and then lament, and it goes on and on and on and weaves these themes throughout the psalm. And we have heard them time and again in our own listening and watch them in our own lives. Hear, give ear, answer, save, answer, do not hide, let me hear, save. And so perhaps it's time to refocus. And here, as so many places in the Psalms, we find in the Psalm Center, the enemy has pursued my soul, crushed my life to the ground, made me sit in darkness. My spirit faints within me, my heart within me is appalled. Notice they are all first person pronouns. This is someone who has turned into themselves completely. 
The enemy here is not an invading army. The enemy here is oneself. It's a soul issue. The ancient monks who spent their lives praying the Psalms in the middle of the night, in early morning, in mid-morning, at noon, in mid-afternoon, in early evening, in late evening, and then before bed at Compline, over and over and over and over. They prayed through the entire Psalms every week. They had a term for this lack of interest. They called it acedia, or the demon of noonday. Today we might describe it as boredom, sloth, apathy, apathy despair, not caring, not being concerned, melancholy, the blues, lethargy. It's not depression. It's a spiritual condition. And the best cure, paradoxically, is to simply go on with one's normal routines, returning to our fundamental purposes in life, getting up in the morning, saying our prayers, fixing breakfast, from Marcus Aurelius to Elon Musk, you will find that their day is one of basic routines, pursued over and over again. Jesus went about Galilee, preaching and teaching, and that was enough. Let us pray. Search me, O God, and know my heart. Try me and know my thoughts. And see if there be any grievous way in me, and lead me in the way everlasting. Amen.